So you have a MacBook Pro and you need an external screen and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Here on the table, I have the first Retina display that Apple have released, the iPad 2, that I've been using as my second screen for my MacBook Pro. And this works with any Apple computer that you have. So if you want to know how you can have this working with your Mac for less than $10, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from MedPack, and if you are mad for tech, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about an iPad 2, the first Retina display that Apple have released, that I used to have here in the house, but I was not using it. So because the quality of this screen is so, so good, because it's a Retina display, I really wanted to give a second life to this iPad, but I encountered a problem. So here on the corner, if you stay pressing on the green corner, you'll be able to see that I can move to the iPad. But that iPad is basically my newest iPad. But if you look on the top, I have saying move to YAM display. So if you go on YouTube, you can search for YAM display. That is this app that you can download to your computer. You have an option that is basically wireless, but I'll definitely recommend you to connect your iPad with a cable and you will have to basically download download this app into your old iPad and into your Mac. And as I said before, it doesn't need to be a MacBook Pro, but I'm giving that example because it's the one that I have here and I'll tell you which problems you can encounter with some versions. And also you can connect this obviously to an iMac or a Mac Studio and so on and so on. And you can say to me, Marco, I don't have an iPad 2 or an old iPad. And that's definitely not a problem because like I said, I have an iPad 2 and you can see that this one is selling for basically $10. So in that case, obviously it will not be just the cost of buying that app, but for basically 10 pounds, you can get the same iPad that I'm using right now. This app can be completely free, but every 10 minutes or so, it will basically disconnect your iPad from your computer, or you can purchase for less than $10 the app, and it works no matter what. The only thing that you can encounter is if you have these old versions of Mac that you have this display here on the top, normally that bar will completely stop working, but I'll tell you how you can go around and sort that out. So the only thing that you have to do is to go to the launch pad, come here on the corner where it says others, you open your activity monitor and here you'll just have to write yum, pressing in there and you have just to press quit. It will stop working and the bar on your computer will restart working. So last but not least, let me show you once again. If I want to move to the iPad, I'll have to press move to yum display. I'll just pass to the other camera to show you. And now if I'm going to press and one, two, three, and is now there as you can see. So it will work really well with your OBS or any other app. As you can see now Spotify is there and I can maximize and start using it. So what is your thoughts about this hack of using your old iPads as your external monitor for your MacBook Pro or any Mac that you own? My name is Marco, this is Matt Pack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.